Hello, my name is Owen. Today I'll be doing a quick review of S.E. Hinton's The Outsiders. Uh, what I want to do is give a brief overview of what the book is about, and tell you things that I liked, and tell you things that I didn't like. Um, this is a very famous book. Uh, I'm sure most of you have read uh, this book, maybe in middle school or high school, or at least heard of it. Uh, but for the overview, it's basically about um, a group of kids who are kind of like outcasted uh, for society, uh, lower class. They call some the greasers. And some of them are kind of like delinquent types, but most of them are just like, you know, they like to dress a little raggedy, you know, they don't got a lot of money and they like to, you know, smoke cigarettes and stuff like that. Um, and then also um, they're in a kind of gang war with like the socias who were like the upper class kids who like to just mug people and like get drunk and drive their fast cars around. So it's kind of like a class struggle, you know, like kids fighting each other, uh, those vibes. Um, but going right into things that I liked, uh, this is a classic for a reason. Um, it's very short, it's only like 180 pages or so, but it's very dense with meaning uh, and emotion. And honestly, I read this book in middle school, but I was a middle schooler, so like I didn't really care that much, if I'm being honest. Uh, but rereading it now was so rewarding. Um, I, I was just surprised, because I think uh, S.E. Hinton, I think... She is like semi-autobiographical, obviously um, the, the story and the characters are all fictional, but she grew up uh, with these kind of groups uh, growing up around her and um, she wanted to write a book about it and I think she was fairly young when she wrote it as well. Uh, but that trueness of her experience really shines through in like, in like the meaning of this book. It's super emotional, like honestly, like I teared up a couple times and there are books that are 10 times as long as this that I've read. Uh, that didn't give me the same amount of emotion and character depth as this book gave me. And that's why I call it dense. It's not dense and it's slow or it's boring. It's dense in like pure art, really. It's just so beautiful. And it's, I don't know. I, I feel like it's somehow it's timely even now, even though it's set in like the 60s or 70s or something like that. And it's just like, it's it's a timeless it's a timeless classic like it's the equivalent of reading like like Moby Dick even though I haven't read it yet it's on my, it's on my shelf but you know what I mean like it's an it's this is a book that'll last that stand the test of time and even though it's already a classic it will continue to be so for years and years and years to come because just how true it is at, at its base and I know all of that sounds very vague and but like like the book's not that long so like in terms of plot like it's a fairly simple plot. Uh, it follows Pony Boy, our narrator, and like his like experiences um, when like part of these like this gang war or something goes awry, and it shakes things up for him. Uh, I'm not gonna give more details than that because honestly, you could read this book in a couple of days, but it's just so beautiful, and it just talks a lot. And I honestly think it's a great uh, look into like masculinity and just like love and brotherly love and familiar love and just your passions and your identity and it's all in here in just 180 pages and it's so beautiful and so if you haven't checked it out or you read it in middle school you remember thinking it was boring and you only remember it stay gold pon pony boy that's the only thing you remember like me give it another shot because it is a great book and even if you're not a fan of reading it's short enough that you could get through it and maybe it'll reinstill that love for you um as for things i didn't like Honestly, it was too short for me to complain about anything. Like I said, like it's a quick read and it's an entertaining read. Like stuff happens throughout the book. Um, you'll feel the whole gambit of emotions. Uh, it's only 180 pages though. So you're not gonna get bored. And if you just like open up your heart to this book, you'll get nothing but good things out of it. Uh, so I don't have anything negative to say about it. If you haven't read this book or you read it a long time ago and you don't remember anything about it, please check it out. It's beautiful. And uh, to cap out review, I just want to say something else. Um, this book, I was given it as an annotated copy. Uh, so she put like stickers and she like highlighted her quotes and stuff like that. And now here's my quick pitch uh, for doing that. <laughs> uh, get a friend, get a book buddy and annotate books for them. And then after you read it, you give it to them and they read it. It just changed my whole experience. Um, that was the first time I ever read an annotated book. Um, and honestly, like it was, it was like reading with somebody at the same time. Um, even though like her notes were usually just like one words or like, wow, or like, oh, that's crazy. Or like, I wish this character would come back. It added to the experiences. Like I was watching a movie uh, with my friend 
And honestly, it was beautiful. So I think that like, if you have, find that book buddy, just trade books back and forth. Um, now in return, because I liked it so much, I'm going to, I'm reading the night circus and I'm imitating that and I'm going to give it to her and we're gonna get a little trade going on, but I highly recommend doing it. It was honestly so rewarding as an experience just to have somebody like reading along with you, but also like to have somebody else's perspective as they read it. Because if you read the book and pass it off, um, then it's kind of like they ask you like, Oh, what'd you think about this? You'd be like, Oh, well, I'm going to answer it in the context of me knowing everything about the book because I finished it before I gave it to you. But this is like, you get there, like when you're on page 10, you get their reactions when they were on page 10. And the only way you could replicate that is if you like read a page and pass it over, read a page and pass it over. But obviously that's not realistic, but just like annotate your books, pass your books. Like, like she like highlighted pages, like left little notes. It was a great experience. Highly recommend it. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. Definitely check out The Outsiders and definitely get a book buddy and start annotating books. Maybe you could even do it as like a pen pal situation. Maybe somebody you don't know, mail them the book that you annotated and they'll mail you one back and you can start a beautiful friendship. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much and goodbye.